Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you a Shopify store that made over half a million dollars drop shipping jewelry. As always, I'm going to be breaking down the whole business model and kind of setup of this business. So we're going to be taking a look at the Shopify store they're using, the actual products they sold to make those sorts of sales, and then the actual ads they've been running as well. What's different about this store to the typical ones I review is they actually generated those sales running TikTok ads. TikTok ads are obviously really popular at the moment, and what they do is allow us to reach a demographic that we might not necessarily be able to reach on a platform like Facebook. If you take a look at the average demographic for a particular platform, then it definitely kind of sets you up to drop ship certain products or to at least use different platforms to match to a different product. And that's the reason why I wanted to show you this store then is because it's a great example of somebody who's found a pretty cool, pretty unique product from AliExpress, branded a site around it. So it makes it look like they're the original seller and creator of this product. But then what they've also done is they haven't just typically gone straight to Facebook or straight to Google. They've matched the product to the ideal demographic for the person who's going to be buying the product. What I really like about their marketing strategy as well is yes they've focused on TikTok to drive the majority of their traffic they've then used all the other platforms kind of like a retargeting um, basis so people wherever they go over the internet or whatever platform they're using they'll always come across their products and with that being said guys thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something new that you can take away and implement into your own business which will ultimately help you be more successful um, and let's jump straight into it so the store we're looking at today is called foreverbracelet.shop on the exchange marketplace i love finding stores on the exchange exchange marketplace for sale that aren't private listings because essentially you can see everything there is to that business, their whole kind of business model, their whole setup, how they're running their business, the profits they're making, the success they're having. And you can learn so much that you can take away and then implement into your own business. It also makes a great product research tool because if there's proven sales and success behind a particular product, then obviously there's no reason why you can't take that same product, market it in your own unique way, improve on what these guys are doing and essentially see the same, if not better, fingers crossed results. So what's different about this shop is they don't have the typical domain. They don't have a .com or .co.uk. It's actually .shop. And the golfing brand I'm starting actually kind of follows this as well. And it's the actual name of the business .golf. Um, so hopefully if it can work for these guys, it can work for me too. I am going to be releasing the first episode next week. There's a couple of things I want to put in place so the episode isn't just me talking about what I'm doing. I can actually show you some kind of tangible results and the stages I'm up to. So to give you some background information about this particular site, it's pretty much your typical dropshipping store apart from, I don't believe they source the products from AliExpress. Um, I found the products on AliExpress, so you can see roughly how much sort of profit they're making. But he says in this paragraph in this section here that he's actually got an agent, a private supplier, um, in which he exports his order info to, sends it across and then re-imports the kind of tracking information, things like that. So the average revenue is about 36K across since when he started with an average profit. So he says of $21,000. Now, I think that's a bit over exaggerated. It's probably not that high with a profit margin of 40%. And that's pretty awesome for drop shipping terms. Um, but what I want to kind of talk about is the fact that he stopped running ads in June, but he still had over 7K sales, which is pretty good for organic traffic. But if you look at the previous couple of months, over 50K, over 70K, and then over 80K. So it just goes to show there's still quite a lot of potential for a particular site like this. And obviously the product as well. Total traffic three quarters of a million. If we take a look at the expenses, we can see they're on the advanced plan to cut down their transaction fees. They have employees, VAs doing customer service, order fulfillment, that sort of thing. Domain, $27 a year, paid apps and research software at 500. And then they have Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and influencers at seven grand a month. When you see the products, it's a super kind of passionate product. There's no way you'd be able to see this sort of success if you didn't have user generated content behind the site, behind the product, um, actually advertising it. One thing I'm really big on and having a big push on for my own businesses is trying to get as much user generated content together as much as possible because no one sells a product better than somebody who already has that loyal trust and following that you can kind of piggyback off. So if we take a look at the actual Shopify store itself, we can see they haven't got a favicon installed at the top. Um, there's definitely a lot of improvement to the site. They've had some great success, but I definitely believe that if you make a few tweaks to this site, you could actually increase that success with the particular niche that it's in as well. Then there's definitely lots of other products you could branch out onto. So you haven't just got to focus on one product and this could be a a brand that could keep going for many years in my opinion the logo itself in my opinion looks a bit basic doesn't look very professional so that would be kind of like my first port of call for this particular site if i was trying to improve it and then if you look at the cover photo treat your boo with a smiley face obviously it's not very professional but when you see the actual product and see the ads they're running the target demographic they're going after it just shows why this product or why this particular business sorry has done so well because everything they've done is based around that demographic they're going to be advertising to and if i'm not mistaken 
thinking if I had to guess sorry I would say the person who created this site is the ideal target market for this product as well that's also a super important piece of advice is that try and focus on what you know because when it comes to the design of the site the pricing of the products the actual products themselves the more knowledge you have about a particular niche then the easier things will come to you and it will certainly be a lot less work because things will just come naturally so at the top they have a track your order page which is recommended um, they have a contact us page but what I want to show you this is all it is is a contact us form so it just goes to show the most important things about any business are the product and the actual marketing campaign itself in my opinion this should be developed with things like a contact number physical address and just generally more information about the actual business itself just to kind of make it more trustworthy and professional but ultimately they've done the most important things correctly which is reflected in their success so this is the product in question it's called the forever bracelet tm trademarked two-piece set so they haven't just named it rope bracelet custom name they've actually branded it to the name of the shop what it is is essentially it's just two separate bracelets one for one partner one for another partner you can get your name inscribed onto it and then when you go near each other this magnet kind of joins on so it's pretty cool pretty unique product see they have a custom app installed so people can import their name before making a purchase and they also have this I believe this looks like a debutify theme which is a default option but basically you can put in when the product itself is actually going to arrive there's not a lot really you can say about this particular product so all they've done their product description is pretty short but they just have a nice gif essentially saying everything that needs to be said about this particular product and showing what it actually does so a little bit of a paragraph at the top the gift sells the product to be honest and then most people probably won't be that bothered about the materials or even the guarantee to be honest because it's such a cheap product at twenty dollars most people think it's a cool product they'll put their names in hit add to cart and they won't think twice about reading any further at the top two you can see 155 star reviews so if people did want to check out the reviews they could scroll down here and see so many different picture reviews of two people holding hands it's just great material that will help sell the product which again is reflected in the success that they've had so this is the product itself we can see it's identical literally everything about it is exactly the same if we go through the process and we'll have this stone color then it's eight dollars 83 plus that includes free shipping so you're looking at about nine dollars delivered they're selling it for twenty dollars which doesn't leave a lot of room so you must be having hot super high conversion rates unless they're sourcing it a lot cheaper as i mentioned in the intro they're not sourcing it from aliexpress they're using an agent so if i had to guess for a particular product like this this they're probably sourcing it for around five six dollars which then bumps up that profit margins a little bit i haven't actually been through the purchase process so let's do that now just to see if they do actually have an upsell um, in which they do so again this will be bumping up the average order value um, which actually explains how they can afford to sell it for so cheap let's jump into tiktok then it's a platform i haven't spent much time on whatsoever but i always love doing research into different businesses especially if they have a different setup to my own because it just gives me loads of ideas of what i can take away for certain products how to kind of how they actually market the products and the strategy behind them and I always like to try and think of things if you're watching this video try and think how can I implement this into my own business so let's take a look at their videos let's go for this first one in the bottom right corner which is 10k views let's just play this they're really cute whenever you put your hands together to connect watch see that now you can hold hands it's really cute just like that what do you think we're connected we're connected. Then you feel the tug, you feel the tension, so it yeah. makes you feel actually more connected to each other. It's a great gift, you know what I'm saying? What day's coming up real soon? International Girlfriend's Day! So make sure you guys grab one. Link will be in our bio for the next few days, so grab one. And thank y'all. Peace. So what that actually looks like then is it's the owners, the creators of the business filming a video themselves, um, taking on that role as the users and actually using it as a video to help sell the products. They have the link in the bio, which they're directing people to. So there's a call to action, but then obviously they nicely demonstrate how the product works. They also time the release of this brand, this product, their site, their business um, in time for National Girlfriend's Day. So obviously what they've done there is pretty smart because it's the sort of time in which there's going to be lots of people thinking about what sort of gifts to get their girlfriend. And then this ad pops up it's pretty cool it's pretty unique um, and it's just a no-brainer at the price point as well so you we can see how simple but effective videos like this really really are um, if you've been struggling to kind of come up with your own videos or paying a design or you're not sure what company to go with try reaching out to some small time influencers thousand followers give or take um, ask them for a price or ask them if they'll even do it for free if you let them keep the products because videos like this which show real people using the real products and just how it does work and smiling and just 
bringing emotion and life to the actual video itself rather than just a, a cold product image, it can really make a huge difference. If you look at some of the most successful e-commerce brands or stores um, on Facebook or on TikTok, then there's always one common theme with the ads they're running and it's featuring real people actually demonstrating the product. And with that being said, guys, let's wrap the video up and do a quick recap just to go over what we've learned in this video. So number one is they found a pretty cool, pretty unique product and they've branded it as their own and built a store around that particular product. Then to sell that product and generate over half a million dollars in sales, they've focused on user generated content, which is real people featuring the product. They've posted it out. We heard the girl in that video say, this company has sent me these particular bracelets i'm going to surprise my boyfriend with them a live reaction just showing showing how a real person would use that product and surprise their own boyfriend it creates like a real life example that people can connect to people can relate to which transforms into cheap clicks because it's going to be super high engagement and the cheaper you can get people onto your website then obviously the cheaper you're going to convert them as well so with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed that video i hope you learned something new if you did let me know down in the comments below i always like to know kind of what stages people are at in their journey let me know what you want to see next as well what sort of videos will help you out with the kind of position that you're in um, and one final thing then before you do go if you're looking for a program that comes with my full support and guidance as well as all the content and resources you could possibly need uh, make sure you check out my ecom academy there'll be a link in the video description down below there is a free callback service too with myself so if you want to hop on the phone with me go through any questions you have about joining um, just let me know if there's a link down in the video description below thanks again i'll see you in the next one